This week we have publication of the first whole ancient Egyptian genome. It's from a man who lived four and a half thousand to four thousand eight hundred years ago, and here he is. Wow, that's amazing. What? Really lifelike. Yeah, it's a stunning reconstruction, isn't it? He was excavated from a site called Nuwairat, which is near this sort of great big necropolis called Beni Hassan, quite far south down the Nile, quite a long way south from Cairo. He was excavated about a little over 100 years ago, very early 20th century, and he was buried in a burial pot, essentially a ceramic pot, and that was placed into a tomb that had been cut into the rock. And it's possible that that created a very stable environment. You know, probably the temperature didn't go up and down too much, and that sort of enabled the DNA to survive longer than it otherwise would have. What have they been able to tell from his genome? The key thing that sort of leaps out of the genome is where his ancestry is from. So about 80% of his genetic material has been inherited from you know, North African people, which I think is, you know, is pretty much right. what you'd expect. Yeah. The other 20% has come from the Fertile Crescent, the Eastern Fertile Crescent, which is that sort of region that's you know, modern day Iran, Iraq. And so that, that sort of immediately raises the question of, well, how did that happen? How come you know, this person has essentially one fifth of their genetic material from over a thousand kilometers away? And so it suggests that there's been some sort of contact between those two early societies, despite the great distance.